Hey y'all, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can fix Forza Horizon 5 crashing and launching issues. I'm going to share with you what I've tested myself and it worked for me. So let's jump right into the video and make sure you subscribe for more. So the first method, let's head over to Windows updates and make sure this is just right off the bat. It's very important and it's just... Um, you just need to install the latest updates and also head over to advanced options and here click on optional updates and make sure you click on driver updates and install all the check all the boxes for the driver updates list here and it's very important and just once you check this click on download and install that's one now second method what you have to do right now is to head over to power edit power option and make sure here you click on a change advanced power options and here you use minimal process state and maximum process state is set to 100 both all right now the next method that is very important as well to fix crashing because this crashing is usually related and launching issues is related to problems with drivers you can also go to a, a driver um device manager and an update from here drivers but usually it doesn't work for me uh, you can update and here uh, but usually never found any any new driver available at least for me yeah and now what you have to do is to install Microsoft Visual C++ and click on the install button and install the latest drivers okay that's what you have to do and uh, <clears throat> once you installed Microsoft Visual C++, make sure you install DirectX and, and uh, user web installer. And once you install that as well, make sure you install GeForce Experience. This is what you need to install the latest drivers onto your computer, onto your machine. And you click on check for updates, install the latest drivers as well. Make sure, you know, it might be very, you know, uh, very common or I know it's just you, you might say it's not useful but I'm saying I'm telling you it's very important to install the latest drivers this is what usually contributes to a lot of crashes and lag that's part of the but it's kind of like the main reason so as I said what you have to do now the next method is after you install the latest drivers um, now another important thing is to go to graphic settings and make sure your computer is or where Windows is forced to use your GPU so click on here on perf high performance look for Forza Horizon 5 and then here select high performance that's what we want so click on change the default graphic settings and make sure you check both of the settings and this will increase your optimization or help with optimization for the games and also go to graphics and here and uh, sorry in uh we also have an advanced displays make sure you select your choose your refresh rate and also use the right display sometimes can the wrong display a resolution can interact with and fix and, f and, and just make uh, create some problems uh, let's uh, put it that way and also now on steam we also have to do something here i'm going to show you right now what you have to do let's open steam it's gonna open soon so what you have to do here in Steam make sure you go to properties click on the game that you have problems with click on local files and here select verify integrity of game files and go to browse and then go to Forza Horizon 5 go to the game click on properties and make sure here you select compatibility and check this box for run this program in compatibility mode and uh, for Windows 11 and also disable full screen optimizations and as well as run this program as an administrator all right and click on now change DPI settings all right and here enable override override high DPI scaling behavior click on apply on OK and apply and OK and this should fix the problem as well as you go to DAX manager and here click on details and go to Forza Horizon 5 and make sure you set a game. This is when you start the game. This is when you actually start to play the game, you know, but, you know, 
Make sure you also you have to restart your computer. Set priority to high. Make sure you also change priority to high. And um, another important thing is also to go to CMD command prompt, run command prompt as a menu shader. And here you have to enter a command. And here you have to enter this command SFC slash scan now right here. This is a command. Click on enter. And if you run command prompt as mini shape, this is what you should see. You should see that is the scanning process has begun. And uh, now you just have to wait. Beginning system um, scan. This will take some time, not a lot, just a couple of minutes. But you know, wait for the process to finish. And then now let's move to the next method. And uh, what you have to do, <coughs> excuse me, right now. <coughs> <coughs> go to game mode and turn on game mode I think in a, if you are in Windows 11 you can turn it on if you are in Windows 10 turn it off uh, Xbox turn off capture whatever here doesn't matter go to accessibility go to visual effects and turn off the visual effects off you can also go to performance this is, this is just to optimize your computer this one we're not really I already know if this will fix the problem, but it's worth it to try, all right? So also here in appearance, make sure you click on custom and check only to these two boxes. It will just increase the performance by 0.1%, I guess. I don't even know, maybe even more. <clears throat> but it's important to optimize your windows. Now, also make sure you have the, uh, the right computer, like you don't have the minimum specifications to run the game. If you don't have, Probably that's why he's crashing. And um, also a friend told me that he's, he actually, for him, he changed the resolution, the lower resolution, and it worked for some reason. Make sure you're trying that. And that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. And make sure I hope this video helped you. And I hope you're going to have a fantastic day. Take care.